Good morning, everyone. It's currently Wednesday. Alfie and I have come into town. Um, it's the month of birthdays, basically. There's how many did we work out in the space of Too like many. two and a half weeks? I think there's honestly like, like nine. 11. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like at the minute we're constantly like buying and wrapping and writing cards and discussing like what to get someone for their birthday. Um, and obviously with Otty thrown into the mix as well now, there's just an awful lot of Virgos in my uh, family, basically, and Alfie's. Um, so it has meant that we have done a lot of celebrating. A lot of like running around trying to get things last minute and um, we've just had a lot of really really lovely plans but lots of things going on um, which has been nice but also just full on. I'm currently in town just to get some more presents. Um, I need to get a few bits and boots and um, that's that. The weather is very hit and miss right now. It was so rainy this morning to the point where I've brought an umbrella and my rain mac because I don't trust this sun. I just, I feel like we're going to get absolutely soaked at some point. This sun is lovely though. I just don't trust it. <laughs> I'm also having to use Alfie's camera to film this because I have no idea where my memory card is. So that's good. Um, but yeah, let's go. Let's head into town. Hello. It's the next day. Was that lightning? <laughs> we'll soon find out if the thunder happens after it. Um, it wouldn't surprise me because honestly the weather the last... There we go. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me because honestly the weather the last week has been insane. You would never think I had just spent like 25 minutes curling my hair. All I have done is been sat in front of this open window um, but it's that type of weather that does this <laughs> to your hair and also it only ever really does it to this side how random is that this side still looks like fairly curled this side though I suppose that is the side closest to the window to be fair so yeah yesterday went into town ran around like headless chickens buying everything we needed to buy it's actually my brother's birthday today we are going to a vineyard that's i don't think it's too far from where we are i've never been before but i think joe and diana have been before and it looks really lovely but it's just not the weather is it like it's such a shame um i feel like if you're a september baby especially early september you probably like it's like 50 50 on whether you're gonna have like an end of summer birthday or like a start of like autumn birthday joe has definitely got some of the weirdest weather today we're going anyway it'll still be so lovely we obviously won't probably be walking around the vineyard um but we're going for lunch anyway so i think we're going to be sat inside which will be really lovely so i wrapped his presents yesterday and uh i actually woke up today and like put on my white jeans that I had on yesterday and this like oversized t-shirt. This is also from Zara. I basically just like went crazy on the Zara website, guys. Also bought a lot of very, very cute autumn baby bits for Otty, which I will show you when we get back from lunch. Don't particularly enjoy buying clothes for myself anymore. It's like, I find it kind of dull. I feel like I'm endlessly searching for something <laughs> and I don't ever know what I want to buy or wear or like, I think, also just like my post baby like self image has kind of changed and I still look at myself and I'm like what do I want to wear like what do I feel good in like I don't really have the answers so when I'm shopping for myself I just find it like slightly stressful but shopping for a baby oh my god it's like a whole other level of like fun and it's all I enjoy doing now. So I will share with you um, some of the very cute bits I've got Otty recently because they're just great. But yeah, I do need to change out of this. This is not very weather appropriate. I look like it's still summer. I also did buy some Rain Max from Zara, which I have to say, that is one of those things that I've had on my list of like, stuff I feel like my wardrobe is missing. I have some really lovely like, over jackets like shackets and like some thicker kind of more fluffy coats i don't really have anything that's like super appropriate to wear in peeing down rain um i did have an old um waterproof jacket from i want to say it was rains 
which I might still have somewhere. Did I have a yellow one? I feel like I had a yellow one years ago. Um, I think I did like a get ready with me and I was wearing it in like 2014 or 2015 or something. Um, I don't have that anymore. I don't think, maybe I do somewhere. <laughs> one, I only have that yellow one somewhere. Um, and yeah, two, when I looked at the weather forecast and realized it was gonna be a lot of rain and I was definitely a rain Mac down. I don't know why I'm having this whole chat about a freaking rain Mac like you're actually interested, but I found a really nice rain Mac. I'm really happy with it. I really, really like it. So much so that I bought it in two colors. I bought it in like a brownie beige and a cream. Um, so yeah, there we go. Rain Mac, done. Pleather trousers, definitely need to put them on and something that isn't like a summery oversized t-shirt. And then we need to leave because we need to be there in like 25 minutes. And I kind of want to recurl my hair, even though I'm like, is there any point? <laughs> is there any point in me recurling my hair? Probably not. This is the oversized t-shirt, by the way. This is an extra small. Um, I really like it. I love a baggy t-shirt. Yeah, it's nice, just tuck it in. And these are the jeans. They're kind of flared at the bottom. Do you see? Hang on, let me... My dressing room is a bit of a mess, but... Yeah, look, lovely. Anyway, very not appropriate for today, so we're changing. I've recurled the hair, I've got the rain mac on, we've got Joe's presents. Alfie also has his rain mac on, but look at this weather. This is just not the one, is it, on your birthday? That's from lucky I messaged Dian earlier, being like, just check on the tables inside, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like the most beautiful venue outside where we're going. She was like, let me call them and just double check. Lucky yeah. it is. Such a shame. Although, oh my God, that's a very big puddle. Blimey. Um, it's very cosy weather. You know how much I just want to go back after this and like not work and just like watch a film. You can put the fire on. <laughs> you do your work on the laptop. Yeah, the that's fire. true. We can put the fire on. Um, you might notice we don't have Ottie with us for this excursion. It's um, Alfie's mum and dad Ottie day. So Alfie and I are basically working, but this is our lunch break. And it's a very cool lunch break to have, I must say. It feels weird to be going to something without Ottie. <laughs> it feels more weird being in the house, I was saying earlier. Like, I feel like I'm occasionally out in the house without her. Either you've got her or like your, like your mum or my parents. But when it's, sorry, I just concentrate so much on the I road. Know, but when we're home and she's not there, it's so strange. Yeah, it's really it's weird. So, imagine if she wasn't there and Nala wasn't there. Yeah, that would be so odd. It would be like us in 2013. That one year that we lived together without a dog or a baby. <laughs> Your vlog can even hear us. I know, like I, it's so loud. loud. Like I don't even know if you can hear us, but um, I think it's gonna be a really nice afternoon. And um, I am definitely gonna light some autumn candles and put the fire on when I get back. I'm sat in Otty's room. Lunch was lovely i didn't film because we were all just catching up and mostly eating and i just i don't know how much of that is actually nice viewing <laughs> i've put my cozy t-shirt back on i love it i feel like i'm wearing one of alfie's t-shirts so that's why i like it so much i said i would show you a couple of the bits that i've picked up for otty recently so some of these are zara i actually think one of these is next next have some very cute things also firstly this is probably my favorite thing like i bought otty in a really long time it's knitted dungarees with tiny embroidered flowers and if they had this in an adult size i would a hundred percent buy it i'm actually kind of sad they don't have this in an adult size because is this not just like the cutest thing you've ever seen I love it. And then they also had this one, which is like a little kind of boiler suit jumpsuit. This is also Zara. Again, if they had this in my size, I would totally buy it. I've got a head now. Where are you going? Pick up a little one. Are you going to pick her up now already? No, I'm gonna to pop to the office and then pick her up. Don't forget the microphone stuff. Great idea. We are filming. Well, no idea, past. memory. Alfie and I are filming a podcast together tomorrow and we have never done a podcast together as a couple before. How crazy is that? I know. 
We usually keep our no, work. No, we've never done very... anything as a couple. Well, we usually keep our work very separate. Yeah, we've never done an interview. We've never no. like together. We've never done a photo shoot together. Actually, I've just noticed Otty's put, put loads of sunglasses behind this radiator. How we did you? a photo shoot, but only for you won't get our out. Instagram. <laughs> they are in together. There. But oh, we've yeah, never we even done, that was in New York, with Brandon. Oh yeah. But we've never done like, it's going to be weird answering like. Questions together, like, I'm gonna what be like, if oh. you say something that I'm like, why have you said that? Yeah. <laughs> but you can say that, it'll be funny. But it's going to be like, we both know the answer to that. And as only you say it, you're oh, like, yeah. no, go on, you can say it. I'll be like, uh, no, no, you're good, you can say it. So funny. So we're very excited about that. I'm not going to say which podcast it is. I feel like I'm going to let you... Make some like guesses. Um, it's a good one. It's a good For un. us to both step in and do it together. This shirt, I feel like if you know me, you will know. In fact, oh my god, guys. This under this. Stop. Very cute. Very cute. It so blows my mind that I'm now buying her like 12 to 18 month clothes. How do I have a one year old already, guys? It's just going too quick going way too quick. I feel like I haven't spoken to you since her birthday, um, which was just the cutest day. Everyone had a really lovely time. And I think more than anything, Otty just loved having almost everyone she loved all in one place. Um, so that was really sweet. You could just see her face, like all around her, she was so like filled with love. And that honestly was just all I could ask for. It was amazing. This little knitted, why do I feel like this would be a lovely crop top? <laughs> this little knitted vest, how cute. This, is this next or Zara? Yeah, this dress, I just thought with tights and boots, how cute. Um, I do love a collar on Otty. I just feel like she's such a little collar child. Um, but yeah, this is such a gorgeous dress. Like the print on this is, lovely they also have these like super chunky knit cardigans oh my god again if this was in my size oh, i would absolutely love it it's so cute i do feel like all of these things are going to be a little bit big for her it's crazy how clothes go from like newborn naught to one naught to three and then like three to six six to nine nine to twelve and then like 12 to 18 and then just like one to two and that's such like a huge gap but then i suppose they don't grow as much like the growing kind of is a bit more steady um so these are all slightly too big for her right now um we're having to like roll everything up but sh they will last longer which i quite like um also got it in cream and then this one is from next how gorgeous again if they had this in my size, it's got pansies on it. These probably aren't pansies, they probably have another name, but they look like pansies. And then look at the little collar. Stop. Um, because Ottie was crawling, I never put her in a dress. Basically, I remember Maddie saying to me, don't buy dresses when your baby is aged between like six to one, six months to one, or like nine months to one year old because if they're crawling, they can't crawl in a dress. And I remember her telling me that. And I just, I just, I don't know, I got sucked into a few dresses and I was like, oh, but the dresses are so cute. She didn't wear hardly any of them because she was crawling and it was so impractical because she would just like crawl on her dress. She used to like do a crawl where her legs were like really in the air because she wouldn't trip on her dress. Maddie was right. If you have a child, that you want to put dresses on. There is just no point when they're crawling. Stick to romper suits, stick to leggings, and stick to like um, trouser, like dungarees, because dresses were just not worn. <laughs> so I feel like I had a couple of really cute dresses that she just didn't really wear. But now that she's walking, the dresses can come back. Dresses and tights and little boots. I'm very excited. So I did I did think twice before ordering the dresses because I was like, is she actually gonna wear a dress? And then I was like, when she's walking, she can wear a dress. Probably not so practical for like the park or like 
climbing things because she does like to climb um but i don't know if we're going out somewhere nice or going like for lunch or something um or you know having just a day in the house <laughs> i don't know from zara i got this little raincoat because again now that she can walk um she will want to be like walking walking down the road not being in the push chair but walking down the road and it might take us an hour to do like half a meter but i still have visions of her like toddling along down the road in her wellies and her rain mac and that makes me very excited she can jump in all the puddles um so yeah those were just a couple of little bits it is quite nice now that like the rotation of clothes has slowed down a little bit that first year where it was like newborn naught to three three to six six to nine i felt like i was constantly like taking everything out that didn't fit her putting in new taking out everything that didn't fit her putting in new and now it's quite nice that that slowed down and things are fitting her for longer um and i'm not having to like because some things as well that that she's worn that i've absolutely loved i've really wished i i'd bought in a bigger size um and now obviously they're not available to buy um but yeah there are a couple of things that i was like maybe you can still squeeze into this and then it's like no you definitely can't but it was very very cute and we'll keep it i don't know maybe for another baby or for a friend's baby or i don't know whoever wants it but yeah there were some really cute things that I just, I wish I'd bought, I think if you have something that you love your child in, buy it in another size, it just, it's worth it, because then they can just wear it for longer, um, but yeah, it's nice now, but I just feel like everything in her wardrobe now is gonna stay in her wardrobe for a lot longer, and as I said, buying clothes for Otty is like my favourite thing in the world right now, like it's really hard to be restrained, like, tiny little clothes are too cute i'm gonna go downstairs and uh start on dinner so before i start on dinner can i just show you this dahlia that i planted in the garden look how amazing that is this is the size of my hand this is the dahlia it is so beautiful um, I think a dahlia was one of my granddad's favourite flowers and when he passed away last year at his funeral he had lots of dahlias um, as the flowers um, and my mum gave me this plant to plant in the garden and the storm bloody snapped it off but I was like it's so beautiful and blooming and amazing I do think it will go even more um, and hopefully it will still be okay in here. It just looks incredible. I need to send my mum a photo actually because um, she is gonna absolutely love it. This lens, Alfie would absolutely tell me off for this lens. Okay, it is time for me to sort dinner and we have just had our HelloFresh weekly delivery, which is fantastic. I'm working with HelloFresh again on this video, guys, which is an absolute dream come true. At this point, I actually don't know what we would do if we didn't have HelloFresh in our lives because, as you know, we're not the best cooks. And also, uh, for us, it's more about kind of like finding the time to cook and being that organized couple with a child and a dog that sits down on a Sunday and like plans out their meals, it's just not very me and Alfie. And no matter how many times we've tried to do it, it's impossible for us to do that. But one thing we can do is not leave the fridge open, is sit down and decide which meals on the HelloFresh app look good for the coming week, which actually I get very excited about, I'm not gonna lie. This week, I have selected a chicken and halloumi shawarma, which looked very delicious. My favorite, I actually mentioned this in my last video where I did a little cook along with me, is the speedy creamy chorizo and sweet corn pasta, which takes 20 minutes, which when we're running around in the evening and it's like bedtime, bath time, like us trying to kind of like tie up the day, the speedy, like the quick meals for us is usually the category that we mostly like pick our meals from. And then 
Last but not least is the crispy cauliflower nuggets with spicy bean stew and soured cream, which I loved the sound of. I think today I'm gonna do the speedy creamy chorizo and sweet corn pasta. As I've said, this is one of my favorite HelloFresh recipes. I highly recommend it if it's ever an option on the week that you are trying out the box. I mentioned this before, but for any of you that haven't tried HelloFresh or you've heard about HelloFresh, but you still haven't like dipped your toe in, they basically provide everything you will need for a meal. They also provide a full breakdown of how to make the meal, which if you're like me is amazing because then you are following instructions, but learning at the same time and it doesn't feel too overwhelming and um, it's quick and easy. There is no waste. It comes with the exact ingredients that you need for each recipe and each recipe comes in its own little bag. I literally store these in the fridge like this. Um, and then on an evening when we're making the HelloFresh meal, I can literally grab it and go. So you can select weekly recipes, you can modify how many people to feed per recipe, and you can also choose a delivery that is the most convenient for you. They have different categories, which I always find really useful. So this one is in the family category. They have quick meals, which Alfie and I usually gravitate towards. They've got customer favorites. This one's part of street food. They have family friendly, or you can go for the vegetarian selection. In the UK, they have 37 different recipes each week, which is nice because there's always variation. There might be something one week that we've not tried before. And I feel like there's always such a good selection. But yeah, it's amazing. As I said, there's no waste. You're only ever paying for what you actually need, which is great. So if you never used my code last time or you're kind of umming and ahhing, if you are in the UK, there is currently a super flash sale, which means that by using my code, you can get 60% off your first box and then a further 25% off the next eight boxes. So that is a huge, huge saving, like 60% off to try like the first box is incredible. So that's two months worth of HelloFresh at a discounted rate. Trust me, I feel like this is a discount that you do not want to miss out on. So I'll leave a link down below. You can use my code. I'll put my code down there as well. Um, go on over, check it out, um, see if it makes your life easier. It certainly helps with us. The code is actually valid in all countries, but the discount will vary wherever you are. So definitely worth using the code, even if you're not in the UK and you can't make the most of the super flash sale, still use my code down below, still use the link um, because there will be varying different discounts depending on where you are. So it's definitely worth checking out. But anyway, speedy creamy chorizo and sweet corn pasta. Let's go. Just as I was about to start making this, I completely forgot that I was meant to be on a call. So an hour has passed. I am even more hungry now. Right. Mummy's making dinner. I was planning to have it made before you got back. I'm gonna put the pasta in. Ready? Like this. Can you see the camera? Do you wanna wave? <laughs> you are so cute. You're so nice. How long is that pasta cooking? Well, we need to do a little pinch of salt in with the pasta. Right, we've drained the sweet corn. Now we need to... <laughs> oh, what's that? That's a shallot. Oh, you don't want to eat it like that. You don't want to eat it like that. That's cool, isn't it? That's cool. You want to put it back? Okay it back. Half peel and thinly slice the shallot. Peel and grate the garlic. Or use a garlic press. Or you don't, again, don't really want to eat that. Nah. Oh, what age do they stop putting things in their mouth, please? <laughs> wow. Nah. Nah. We don't want to eat that. dinner with you here. I'm afraid. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh my god. 
I forgot that a shallot is an onion. Oh, are you fine? Oh my god, I can't open my eyes. God, guys, I just cannot cut onions. <laughs> I need all your onion cutting hacks because holy crap. Sometimes even if Alfie is chopping an onion in the kitchen and I'm in the conservatory, my eyes are like, oh! <laughs> And dinner is served. I actually cannot wait to tuck in. Hello guys, it is a week later. I got struck by what I can only describe as probably the worst cold I've ever had. <laughs> it wasn't COVID, um, but it felt like it. I actually did have COVID like two months ago. Um, and I'm not sure if you can catch it again that quickly anyway, but it felt exactly the same. And I was testing and it was coming back negative and I was like, okay, fine, this is just a really awful cold. But I had zero energy. Like I'm still ill now. I, I've never had a cold like this. I don't know if it's because I've had COVID and now my body's like, do you know what? We fought real hard against COVID and now we're not gonna fight so hard against this cold because we've, we've got no energy left. <laughs> I don't know what's happened. I guess now like our immune systems are having to like really build back up. <laughs> and also having a child um, really does things for your immunity because uh, yeah, I feel like it's like one thing after another. I'm starting to feel a little better. So I wanted to come on here and just say hi. Also just express how excited I am for autumn. It's just that time of year where like, I get like excited in my tummy. <laughs> Honestly, I know I sound like a child, but I genuinely do just get really excited for autumn. And just this time of year for me is one of my favorite times of year. I don't really feel like I was able to fully appreciate it last year because i was in the throes of like postpartum obviously i had a lovely a lovely autumn because i had a newborn but it also meant that i wasn't able to kind of like do the things that i would usually do so there were far less walks and kind of getting outside and getting in nature um so yeah i'm very excited for this time of year i'm also i'm trying to be really planned and i do feel like this is one element of becoming a parent that I now possess that I don't think I possessed in such a way before but I am like planning things to do in December things to do basically from now until the end of the year because things get so booked up when you have kids you have to be one you just have to be a little bit more kind of like routine with things and a bit more like structured anyway and slightly more organized um but Things with kids just get booked up so quick. <laughs> so I've been trying to get things booked in. Just some like festive things um, that I wanted to make sure we could definitely go to. Um, and I just feel like you can blink and you won't be able to do them. So I've been trying to get more organized with that. Equally, I would love to hear your suggestions of anything you have done with your kids when they've been really little that you've enjoyed or they've enjoyed or like something around this time of year maybe it's like a tradition you have with your kids or a place you go to i live in the south southeast so anywhere around here we're happy to drive um but you know like any farms or any any places or events or kind of social things that you've been to around this time of year and Christmas that your kids have really enjoyed. Equally, I would love to know if you live on a street that has like insane, crazy Christmas lights. Every year I try and Google, look at tags on Instagram. I try and find a street around Brighton and Hove or even further than Brighton and Hove, as I said, I'm happy to drive, um, that, do like really full on Christmas lights on their houses. You know, like sometimes there's like a street that will like really, really go to town um, for charity or something. Um, back when I lived in Wiltshire, there was actually a house that used to do it for charity in a town called Melksham that was like kind of near where we grew up. It's still like 
up there with one of the like most incredibly decorated Christmas lights, Christmas houses I've ever, ever seen. And nothing since then has ever really come close in the UK, apart from obviously when we went to Diker Heights, um, when we went to New York in 2019, that's like another level. It's like every single house is like incredibly decorated. Very, very festive. Would highly recommend if you go to New York at Christmas time. And if you're watching this and you're also wanting some suggestions, obviously check out the comments of this video. Um, but I know that a lot of places do like light light shows so in the southwest there's longley i know that they do a light show i've never actually been to it but it does look very good um i love all the national trust parks around this time of year sheffield park near us is one that we always love to go to at this time of year when all the leaves start going like um gorgeous autumn colors but yeah i would just love to know in the comments what things you do with your kids around this time of year or what things you've already booked in or things in the southeast that you're like hey if you've not checked this out you really should because it's great you know me i love like i love a tradition and i love anything that's like remotely autumnal and festive so let me know speaking of autumnal and festive i placed a lush order guess what's in it i mean it smells incredible like my house smells like lush right now hello dun, dun, dun. i basically went overboard on halloween bath bombs and i thought you know what it's been it's been a while since i've sat down and showed you what bath bombs i've ordered i feel like this is a very like retro video for me <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have to excuse the fact that they arrive like this without um me knowing what they're called i do have a list of what of what i've ordered and i can guess from my list what it might be called but i actually i don't remember this is definitely the ufo bath bomb it's got two bits oh look at that it's got like popping candy or something in the middle this looks remarkable oh my god that smells great that literally smells incredible um i assume this is the alien bubble bar again smells incredible quite quite zesty quite limey that one. Oh, this is one that i want to pop in the bath with otty it's called i want my mummy and it's just their classic like shea butter bath bomb i feel like this might be bigfoot bath bomb this is like a little monster claw oh oh i really like the smell of that one that smells lovely not sure what's in it <laughs> yeah guys i'm really just going on whether it smells nice or not because i don't have the list of ingredients this one is screamo bath bomb Oh, okay, this is my favorite smell so far. Oh my gosh, what on earth does this remind me of? <sighs> I don't know, but I literally wanna eat it. Oh, okay, I also ordered sparkly pumpkin shower slime. This does just genuinely look like slime. Mm. I'm not sure about the smell of that actually. Maybe it's one of those ones you have to like use to get like its full potential, but it smells, it doesn't smell like what I thought it would smell like. I actually cannot put my finger on what that does smell like. May have bought another one of these for a certain someone whose birthday is coming up fairly soon. Hopefully they're not watching this. Can you guess who that might be for? <laughs> this one is Cyclops Bubble Bar. It's got like one little eye. This smells like the circle one. <laughs> That's not helpful at all. It's kind of like the blackberry scent. Oh, cute. This one is Bubble Lugosi Bubble Bar. It's definitely a bubble bar. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, it's a little vampire. You have to really dig deep with these packing peanuts because Sometimes they put them in quite far down and you don't want to end up throwing any away. Oh my gosh, cute. This is the ghosty bath bomb. 
Ooh, that smells lovely. Very fresh again. There's some quite nice fresh scents in here. I feel like this Halloween collection is so big. Do they normally do this many Halloween items? I don't know. Right, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm two down. <gasps> okay, this is definitely the Labyrinth bubble bar. Oh, guys, it's that time of year where me and Mark can watch the Labyrinth on repeat. The Labyrinth, Hocus Pocus, Witches, you know, all the things we always watch <laughs> on repeat anyway. Oh, a tiny little sample of Snow Fairy body lotion. That's very cute. Funkin' Pumpkin Bath Bomb. I can't see him. Oh, here he is. Oh, cute. This smells the same as the sparkly pumpkin shower slime. I just don't know if it's how I would imagine it to smell. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe it's the sort of thing that you actually have to like put in your bath and then you get the full, the full experience of the scent. But anyway, <clears throat> that is my little lush haul. Look at the size of this. I might have to just go and give my hands a rinse before I open the next package because they are quite dusty. Okay, next package is a little package from Emma Bridgewater. Now, if you weren't already aware, Emma Bridgewater always do very cute autumn Halloween ranges. And I have quite the collection of Emma Bridgewater autumn mugs. It's become a thing where I'm like, each time I see one that's just like, makes me feel all the autumn feels, I have to buy it. And I'm actually very happy with my little collection. Maybe I'll show you in another vlog. Over the years, I have bought many, many a mug. And this year I noticed they had some more and I just thought they're too cute. This is the Halloween biscuit mug. Um, so you've got a little gingerbread skeleton, a party ring, a custard cream that says custard scream and then just like a decorated biscuit with a cobweb on it. I love this print. I just thought it was so cute. So, I also got this, which is the oven mitt <laughs> and a tea towel. Yeah, oven mitts, how cute. Um, and then the tea towel, how adorable is this print? And then I also picked up this one, which says, oh, extra strength, magic potion, eye of frog, toe of newt, um, and squashed flies and witch's fingers. God, <laughs> I actually can't read it this way. Basically, another very cute Halloween-y, autumn-y tea towel. <gasps> oh my God, it's so cute. Here is the autumn mug. So they're taking their pumpkins. Look. It's very cute, and then there's leaves around the inside. They just make me very happy. <laughs> this one's called Year in the Country, Halloween. Basically, if you come to my house at this time of year, you are guaranteed to get a cup of tea in an autumn mug. <laughs> I do feel a little bit like all I've done in this video is show you things I've bought and open boxes. <laughs> but, do you know what? That is just... That is life at the minute. There's not really a lot else to report, apart from the fact that I can now actually breathe out of my nostrils. And we're almost done with all the birthdays, which is so nice. Now we don't have to think about presents until Christmas. It's a tiny bit of a breather, um, but yeah, exciting. Anyway, 
yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed showing you some little autumn bits. Equally, I also picked up this cardigan from Meadows. I bloody love Meadows. It's such a gorgeous brand. I'm gonna go and put all these bits away now whilst Ottie is still napping. We've had the fire on all morning and now I am absolutely sweating, uh, especially because I'm wearing this. <laughs> Should probably take this off or turn the fire off and then I'm gonna watch a little bit of Made in Chelsea and chill the F out whilst Ottie is asleep. Oh, and then I'm gonna go to m and I'm gonna see if they've got any like autumn-y, halloween -y snacks in yet. They might not, but you know I love me an m and snack so we shall see. I'm also gonna see what hot chocolates they've got because guys coming up to hot chocolate season it's also coming up to roast season sunday roasts um possibly my favorite meal ever ever just lots of things to look forward to um which i like i think whenever a season changes it kind of brings that feeling with it like a lot of like new exciting things to look forward to right we are out shopping i've roped mum in <laughs> I don't know about you but sometimes I find it quite stressful to go shopping with a small child on your own <laughs> so I was like what are you doing do you want to go um so mum is here as well having fun, Great fun. <laughs> Otty nice um learning how to drive one of these again oh yeah you have bashed into me a fair few times already <laughs> am I the only one who gets really excited about scan and shop <laughs> I think I might be I am so lame <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna take 10 times as long <laughs> now that she wants to walk. Oh, you want some halloumi fries? She won't, um, she won't leave the milk. <laughs> Ottie, come on. <laughs> she is fascinated. <laughs> Even my mum cannot get her away from the milk. <laughs> oh, good girl. <laughs> this is the first time she's never been in the trolley. Oh, she, you know what she's gonna do? She's gonna look, pick, touch every bottle down every aisle. Potty. <laughs> oh, she's waving at the little boy. <laughs> We have just finished bedtime and I thought I would end the vlog here because it's already getting dark and it's seven o'clock. Can you believe that? I feel it this year, more than I've ever felt it in my life. Don't know if it's because I'm getting older, parent life, don't know what it is. It makes the day feel shorter, doesn't it? But I'm ready for it. Don't I'm worry, it. prioritize yourself. Oh, I like this. That's my new... Emma Bridgewater Autumn Halloween Purchase. Lovely. It's nice, isn't it? We also went to Roundstone Pick Your Own like two, three days ago and picked up some squashes to decorate the house and I am really liking where I've put them. I need to get some like autumn candles. Look. And then I've just got one on this side. We are probably going to do another HelloFresh recipe for tonight. Remember, if you want to use my code, there's a link in the description box. Um, and I'm going to end this vlog here. I feel like I've had one of those days that feels like it has gone on and on and on. You can see what kind of day I've had just by looking under my eyes. <laughs> I look old. <laughs> anyway, I will see you very soon for another vlog. But for now, goodbye. Hope you're well. And I'll see you again soon.